Introducing the new mobile gold plating 3001 modular control unit. The 3001 is designed to run on 110 to 240 volt domestic current or 12 volt DC current from a battery. Here are the two options of power supplies for the unit. On the right is the 240 or 110 volt cable. In the center is the cable that we'll use to connect up to a battery. The 3001 is supplied complete with four electrodes. You'll see that the electrodes are different colours. The reason for the different colours is the different solutions that we'll use so that we have colour-coded bottles for each of the solutions to ensure that each electrode goes into the correct solution bottle. In addition to the four electrodes, two black earthing electrodes are supplied. One is a probe, one is a clip design. The 3001 comes with a handy chemical module to keep the four bottles in. The 3001 system is designed to provide completely independent plating and stripping circuits. Two different operators can be doing two different jobs with the same machine at the same time. The voltage supply for the plater is completely variable, it's not stepped in any way, it simply goes up and down as you need depending on the solution that you're using. The front of the plating section has three sockets for the red electrode leads that go in there. Each electrode has a different use and we'll discuss that later on. There's also a black socket for the probe. On the other side of the machine is the stripping electrode and the black plating and stripping clip. So both, both sides of the machine can operate at the same time. There's no need for pulling leads out, swapping them over or doing anything of that type. It's just designed to be completely self-contained. The first step that we will do is to just rinse off the area to make sure that there's no dirt particles. Then we remove the chrome from the badge. This is a chrome plated plastic badge. Finish. The nickel is what we want to expose and plate. Before we can plate it however we must activate the nickel. This is done with a solution and using the machine. When we're satisfied that the badge, the nickel, has been sufficiently activated, we'll rinse off and we're ready to start gold plating. We're now applying 24 karat hard gold to the exposed nickel surface of the badge. And here's the finished result. These are the chemicals that you'll come across in day-to-day -day use of your gold plating machine. The first chemical we'll look at is Electroclean. Electroclean is manufactured using a product caustic soda. The chemical name for caustic soda is sodium hydroxide and that is mixed with water. To make Electroclean we add 50 grams of sodium hydroxide or caustic soda to our solution of water. We measure very carefully 50 grams out. You can see the 50 grams of sodium hydroxide at the bottom of the one litre container. To make this into Electroclean we simply add water up to the top. Chrome Stripper uses the same product that Electroclean uses, the caustic soda or sodium hydroxide. The difference here is that it's 100 grams per litre so it's double the strength of the Electroclean. We do the same procedure again, we measure out 100 grams of caustic soda and place that into the bottle. There's our 100 grams 
of sodium hydroxide and you can see the product at the bottom there. Approximately twice the height as, as used in the electroclean. And just a point here, if you're running short of electroclean at any time, you can use a chrome stripper. If you use a half of the bottle of chrome stripper into the electroclean bottle and then fill with another half of water, then you'll get exactly the same chemical composition as you would do mixing 50 grams of sodium hydroxide. The next chemical we're going to look at is nickel activator. We measure out very carefully 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and the easiest way to do that is to use one of the medicine type of droppers and to put a black line around the 10 so that you can see very easily when you're adding the acid exactly how much is there. I'd always recommend using a funnel because if you spill this stuff it can make a mess of whatever you've spilt it onto. All we have to do now is to add water up to the top. You'll notice that the 1 litre bottle, the 200 ml small bottle and the electrode are all colour coded. In the case of nickel activator they're all green to make sure that you don't mix one chemical up with a different electrode or a different bottle. The same colour coding applies to the chrome stripper which of course is red. To give you an idea of what it's going to cost you to make more chemicals, a container of caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, which is 98%. If you buy it, when you buy it from the hardware store or from your supermarket, look for 98% sodium hydroxide. One of those will cost you between three and four dollars. And 500 grams, you know, will make five one liters of chrome stripper or 10 one liters of electroclean. The other product you'll use for nickel activating is hydrochloric acid. That is a one liter container. You can buy it in 500 milliliter containers as well. One liter of that will actually make you 100 litres of nickel activator. So it's very cheap. A, a litre of this will cost you six to seven dollars, usually from a hardware store. But as you'll see on the bottle, it's used for all sorts of things, cleaning, it's used for pH adjustment in swimming pools. So you may find it's easier just to buy it from your local pool chemical supplier. But about seven dollars and that would give you maybe four or five years supply of nickel activator. So the chemical base is very cheap, very easy to obtain.